Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back. This is the episode 40 of the South City Reds career mode show, and we're taking on the Cutsford Tigers. Um, yeah, so this is the first game of two, obviously. Uh, no short on one like last time. And the second game is against the Wigan Warriors, so a big clash there. Um, Sione Kite is back for this first game here. Um, and I think Mossy Masoy dropped off the bench. Parsi's in there as well. Can't remember if he played the last game, so uh, yeah. Two uh, of our regular players are back, um, and they haven't played in recent weeks. Uh, we throw an uh, intercept there for Ellis. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but uh, yeah, not a good start to the game. But we make up for it not too long later. Greg Bird with an excellent cutout pass. Um, McCallum went through that grab like a boss there. So 6 all. Um, McCallum scoring, and I guess it's Jacob Ellis or something like that, who's the halfback. Um, or 5 8. And he kicked uh, his own, well, he kicked the conversion to his own try. So just um, right from the like, return for the second half. I don't know why I couldn't say that properly. Uh, we put a nice little kick there, and then Charlie throws Tompkins over the sideline. But uh, it didn't really work out that great for us. But um, just not too long after, I think about six minutes later, we get an intercept. Um, and here you have Bruff. It looked like he was going to get caught by, I guess, Ellis or whoever it was, the playmaker. Um, but yeah, we held on. And see, it's 12 all here. And this is going to be an excellent kick here. That was make or break, that one. Um, it's not quite a 40-20. Tompkins got to it, but uh, we're going to get a similar result anyways. And then Wardle takes to the line, gets an offload to Charnley. We've got only a few minutes left. Hodgson fakes to go right for the um, sideline, right, right for the uh, corner post, but uh, cut back inside and faked out the winger, whoever it was. And he scores the match winner to Josh Hodgson. Been in excellent form this year for us. Uh, probably our best player so far. If I had to say so myself, uh, Umbai's played pretty well, but yeah, Hodgson doing the job. Um, Ringy Chase was someone who I wasn't sure if we needed. Um, wanted a little bit more money than what I was willing to offer, uh, and I thought Umbai could do the job, but that we were relying on Josh Hodgson to step up. He'd been good in the past, but he's really stepping it up here. So Wigan Warriors, Pat Richards still on the side. He'd have to be about 30, 37 or something. I don't know what, what I said just before. That was, I didn't really say any age. 30, uh, it doesn't really say anything. Um, but yeah, Kite, Parsi, uh, no Masoy on the bench. Uh, but don't worry, guys, if you're a fan of Mossy Masoy, he probably will be returning to the team sometime soon. So uh, a nice little tackle there, forces uh, a forward pass. So it was a forced error. And because of that, we put Watkins through a, uh, through a gap. Uh, just straight from the scrum, there wasn't really too much to it. We just passed to him and the gap opened up. But really shitty... Uh, try going to be scored here by Kirkman or Kirkmond or whatever. Ryan Hall's coming across here but he's not going to get there. Um, Ryan Hall is probably our fastest um, player. Charnley is a former Wickham Warrior himself um, so he'd be looking for a big performance and he didn't play too bad. Um, Hodgson here, big tackle. Uh, we just got down there in their face from the kickoff, uh, forced a little error from them and uh, he'll be going to um, hopefully get a result out of it. Bombs up for Patrick who's under it. And the ball uh, falls down to them with a knock-on butt. Um, so we get the ball back here. And Bruff gets the umbai, just takes it to the line. And uh, he knocks it on over the line, which is really unfortunate. And I was kind of frustrated. I was like, oh, nothing's going my way here. But he umbai, just taking it to the line again, as he does so many times for us. And he does in real life um, for the Bulldogs. So that's kind of cool. Um, playing like real life himself. And Hodgson... Does it himself, takes it to the line. I'm not sure how Hodgson is in real life, but on this, he's a, he's a gun player. And then McCallum here, uh, also going to the line here. Should have been a try, but an excellent tackle there. I'm not sure who made the tackle, but it was a definite try saver. Uh, no doubt about it. So we take another replay at it. It was worth having a look at. And he reaches out, and probably should have had a knock on, but it wasn't. And then directly after that, fifth tackle, gets a bird. He pushes off one, and he does get tackled, but it's over the line. And uh, yeah. It's half time, 18 to 6. And we're pretty much dominating. The, the only try for them was through that little stuff up grubber uh, and the runaway. So they haven't really produced too much, and I don't feel um, they're threatened by them at all. And then Charlie, he's about to score here to take it up to 24 to 6, I believe. But that's the uh, end of the game, or well, end of the highlights. And I'd like to say, uh, while it's loading all this sort of stuff, I say thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. So yeah, we get confirmation. 24 to 6. Tries to the minute. Bird, Charnley and Watkins. And Denny Bruff kicked all the goals. And here's, um, here's all the results for round 14. Miles doing that. I'd like to say thanks for watching. And the ladder's about to come up. We're still in first.
by six points. Um, but yeah, I'd like to say thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you for episode 41. Bye.